pick it up. Neither do I. Freckles doesn't want to get up either. Doesn't want to stay in bed. Well, you get to go back to bed after I leave. But I got a better idea. What? How about you make your own coffee and get your own drinks? And I just stay in bed. How about if you go to work for me and I stay in bed? You don't get fired? Oh, the alarm clock's going off. That's it, Val. You gotta get up now. The master says so. Okay, gonna take a shower, you feed the animals. So hey guys, as you can tell, it was a little rough start for me this morning. Kevin kind of had to pull me out of bed. I usually get up with him every morning and make his coffee and feed the animals and see him off to work. And then I'll usually start doing my chores and whatnot, but lately with not feeling good with my feet and my stomach. I've been going back to bed and going back to sleep for a while, but this morning I'm going to try and stay up and do some cleaning of my house because my house is a total disaster, but he's got band rehearsal on Saturday and they're rehearsing here and they're going to be rehearsing in my front living room and that room is such a mess right now that I want to at least get that room cleaned because I would love for Kevin to be able to set his drums up and just leave them up. And if I get that room done, I'll be happy. If I can get more than that done, I'll be even happier. There's not much I could do with my kitchen right now with the way that it is, but I'm trying not to freak out about that and just kind of ignore it, but we'll see. Okay, so here is the front room. We still have a little bit of a mess from when Kevin was taking everything out from underneath the stairs for the yard sale and stuff that he wanted to put on eBay. So, of course, we have the two kitty litters in here, and one of the cats got sick on my rug over here, and we still have trash here that didn't get taken out uh, so I need to clean all of this stuff up um no cat in the box today okay so I kind of finished in here except I put some freshening powder on the floor so I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit before I vacuum but everything is dusted and cleaned and put away well plans now have officially changed I wasn't supposed to go out to lunch with Kaya till one o'clock and her and Tiff just texted me and told me to get ready that they are going to be on their way and it's only 10:22, so no more cleaning need to get in the shower and need to get ready so catch you guys in a little while okay I am being kidnapped if I don't get back to you within four hours maybe five call 911 or Kevin may be in on this. Look for a freshly dug grave in the desert. Or you can just find us in Vegas. <laughs> That's always a good place to find me. <laughs> I wonder if there's hamsters in that car. What do you think? Yeah, it's the ham hamster mobile. It's the hamster mobile. I just want to see the hamsters doing the hamster dance. 
fat ones or the skinny ones? They lost a ton of weight. I know. Well, yeah. the skinny ones, obviously. Yeah. And the nice little tuxedos. Yeah. So, Tiff. Yes. We're at Betty Faye's. Yeah. Same dilemma. Lunch or breakfast? It's a good dilemma. I don't know either. Brian. Lunch. <laughs> Jeepers, jump the gun there on me, why don't you? Lunch. And my favorite person is back. I've missed you so very, very much. I've missed you too. I'm so glad you're back. I wish we could spend the whole afternoon together. I have to go home to school work. I know. What's the difference between a cake combo and a wheel? Yeah, don't you dare. <laughs> I got your hand. I got your hand. <laughs> okay, guys. So I made a decision. I'm going to try and do just a little bit more work before I lay down and relax. So I'm going to at least get my dining room done. So I'll talk with you guys in a little while. Okay. We got a cat in the box. Where are we mailing him to? Who wants Boomer? Or should we just put the lid on it and do Schrodinger? Schrodinger's cat in the box. Is it alive or dead? He can care less. He's going back to sleep. <laughs> and we got Freckles over here. Oops, say his name is Tailwags. Freckles. Freckles. It's like pushing a button. Freckles. <laughs> I did more than what I thought I was going to get done today, so I think I might just call it a quits right now and maybe just take something from my head and lay down and relax for a little bit till Kevin gets home. So, not sure what I'm going to do. I'm so close to being done. I just want to finish it, but I'm in so much pain. Help! What should I do? Push through, push through. I know I should, I know I should. Something's making a really strange noise behind me. Did you guys hear it? Whoa. Haven't heard that noise in this house before. Have to check into that. Okay. We have a collection of series on TVs that we watched. We have every season of Friends, but we have a very special viewer. We have every season of Angel. So far, season one through six of Big Bang. We have some bones, not all of them. We have the entire series of Buffy. We have the entire series of Charmed. We have Dead Like Me. If you haven't seen Dead Like Me, you should see it. It's really good. Dexter. We're not, we don't have all of it yet, but Dexter is really a good movie or, or show. We have season one and season three of Game of Thrones. If you haven't seen Game of Thrones, that's good. Then we have our Ghost Adventures and then The Hauntings. And then we come down here 
to more of the hauntings, saving grace, every single season of Smallville, seasons one through six of Supernatural, which we now watch on Netflix, and then we have every season of That 70s Show, and Unsolved Mysteries. So, I think we have a lot more in common. How do I look? My eyebrows look okay? My hair look okay? Hey! Don't mess with the hair! He's yelling at me to stop texting and to do shout outs. Yeah. I'm texting with one of our subscribers. We'll move on. Gotta put up a blah blog. Blah blah blah. Blah blah. Looks like we got a novel there today. I just write a lot. How would you say that last name? Bomber. Joshua Bomber from Twitter. He follows us on YouTube as well. Happy 38th birthday on August 3rd. He lives close to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. He's never seen a spirit, but his friend has. Keep watching, Joshua, because our big ghost hunt is coming up on August 7th, 8th, and 9th. So... Go hang out at Devil's Den. You'll see ghosts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but we, we're expecting our ghost hunt to be pretty exciting. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that. Cast Twist. We would love to go investigate Prince Edward Island. Love, love, love to go there with all the history that's there. We, we were, we, uh, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. We would surely be fun find some spirits that would love to talk to us there. I saw things today. Every time I clean, I seem to see things in this house. I really do. Maybe they're just happier cleaning. You make it sound like I never clean. <laughs> I'm freaking OCD. This house is spotless almost every day. So this one's going to make this sound really weird. Renee, yes, we are a match made in, in some special place for people like us. But now I'm beginning to wonder. <laughs> Terry Johnson, you really, really looked up, looked into the watch from that movie somewhere in time. <laughs> you sent us information on that and we haven't had a chance to go through it all yet, but we are definitely gonna go through it because that's paradox. a paradox in when they do time travel movies. That's always the question is where the item originally originated from. So, thanks Terry for looking that up. And Daryl Roper says we should we have our own movie horror movie theater here. So I think we might start doing penny movies, penny, penny movie movies. nights, penny movie night. I think that's against the law to actually charge admission. Okay, well, so we'll just tell everybody to bring over a snack and a drink. That, that'll work. An alcoholic beverage, a non-alcoholic beverage, excuse me. Megan Goss says she loves horror films, but you didn't tell us what your favorite one was. Megan, what's your favorite horror film and which horror film scared you the most? That's what we need to know. Uh, domestic Goddess. She watched Sharknado last night, her and her child. Um, 
and she saw Kevin's shirt that said, he wore last night the shirt that said, I survived Sharknado. And she went online and had to buy a shirt for her, and I think she said her son. I think her, her son or daughter. Um, Alien K18, also known as Kimmy. Shout out to you. And I know your husband is coming home for the weekend, and your mom's going to have your baby, so... Have a wonderful weekend, girl. Wonderful weekend. So, so now, what? it's time to take the headphones off so I don't break anybody's eardrums. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shout and the cat just went running across the floor because I scared the cat. <laughs> you started, I started yesterday. Uh, I don't know about that. I can never remember, and he always does this to me. You started yesterday, go ahead. I started yesterday, <laughs> you just said. You started yesterday. I, yeah, you started. <laughs> I started yesterday. <laughs> he confuses me. Jack Adams. Katie Caroline. Megan Goss. Karen Fry. McKenna's World. Lucy Bones. Madison Collier. Daniel Scott. Christopher Trecho. Clay Bath with usernames. Selena G. Love 487, also known as Brian. Tom Shoe. Madeline Carl. Rex25059. ZZ Epic Dude ZZ. Dana Besaw. Beauty Queen 12. Marin Brenda Smith. Daphne Sheehan from PEI Canada. Lucy in Autumn. Samantha L. Domestic Goddess. And the newest name on our neighborhood community shout out list. Alien K-18, also known as Kimmy. Well, Domestic Goddess is new, too. Yeah, she was new today, too. So we had two new additions. Woohoo! Anyway, you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here without you guys. We love you all. We love you all. Thank you. Thumbs up and we will see you tomorrow.